everybody, it's Lon Seidman. We're back one more time with the Lenovo B50 because a lot of people were writing in asking whether or not uh, this Lenovo PC was afflicted with the Superfish malware that Lenovo was installing on a lot of their consumer PCs. And I felt this was a good opportunity to talk about that issue as well as how to avoid Windows bloatware because it seems like a lot of Windows PCs these days, and they've always been, but it's getting worse, are getting loaded up with all of this junk that really uh, kind of slows the computers down and makes them less pleasurable to use. So we're going to cover both of those topics. Uh, the first uh, thing to talk about, of course, is Superfish. And uh, the good news is Superfish is not on this computer. In fact, I uh, reinstalled uh, Windows from their recovery partition just to make sure. Uh, so the good news is they have not put it on this B50. And it's, I don't think it's on any of their newer PCs now. There's some, of course, out in the market uh, running it as we speak. And you'll have to uh, remove it. And what Superfish is, is a uh, basically an advertising malware thing that uh, I, I think creates some significant issues for users, especially when it comes to security, because what it was doing was uh, basically kind of sitting in between the user and Google when they were doing web searches. Now, when you connect to Google, you get that you know, little lock on your browser saying that you have a secure connection. And what Superfish was doing was basically connecting securely to Google and then reading the transactions, so reading all of the stuff the user was searching for, uh, all the uh, web traffic going back and forth, kind of sitting in the middle, getting all that uh, data that it was decrypting. Uh, it was sending that stuff off to the Superfish server. So it's sitting somewhere other than uh, between the user and Google. And then it had put its own certificate on the computer so that the user would see the little lockup there and not think anything uh, was wrong because they actually made the computer uh, report that it was a perfectly fine and secure connection, even though they had what's essentially called a man in the middle attack where they were intercepting everything going back and forth uh, to Google and other websites. Very bad that they uh, did that. And the removal process was not easy. Uh, you had to go um, basically you know, through the usual process of doing the uninstallation, but then you had to dig deeper and actually go into uh, the uh, certificates uh, uh, section of your Windows configuration, not an easy thing to kind of poke through if you're uh, an untech savvy person and you had to remove that certificate as well. So not an easy process and uh, really disappointing that a manufacturer would put this kind of stuff uh, on one of their PCs. And uh, so the good news is at least this one doesn't have that. It does have a bunch of other stuff on it. Uh, a lot of bloatware, a lot of links to services like eBay and whatnot. Even on the home screen here, you can see we've got you know, uh, some game here and the film on and the support screen, Zinio, Lenovo dress up, you name it. They've put a lot of junk on the computer as well. Uh, not as bad as what Superfish was, but still stuff that you may not want nor need and uh, may have to uninstall when you get it. So uh, there are some ways to get rid of this stuff. Of course, you can go into the uh, control panel and just do the uninstall. Uh, but that sometimes, as we saw in the case of Superfish, doesn't always solve your problem because you may have uh, lingering uh, things that don't get picked up by the uninstall. So uh, one thing you could do, and by the way, all these things I'm going to talk about, I'll link below in the description. Uh, one thing you can do is go and create a fresh Windows installation from Microsoft. So there's a little tool called the uh, little media creation tool. Uh, you download it, it will download a copy of Windows for your computer that is free of malware. It's just the, you know, the original Windows installation. Uh, there's another tool that I'll link to that will give you the serial number that your computer has for Windows. So you type that serial number in, it's all you know, legal and valid, and uh, you'll be able to start from scratch. But you'll also have to go onto the manufacturer's website and download all the drivers that your computer needs to operate. You gotta download that Windows installation, download the drivers, uh, stick a little memory stick in the side of your computer with that stuff on it, reboot the computer, format the hard drive, download the drivers, and install the drivers. It's really not an easy process if you're not tech savvy. So in some cases, you're kind of trapped uh, having to deal with this. Now, if you're in the market for a new computer, uh, it's a little bit easier. You can go and look for a Microsoft Signature Edition PC. And what these are are computers that are guaranteed not to have the junkware or the trialware on board. And they have them from every major manufacturer, including Lenovo. So you can actually buy this computer uh, as a Signature Edition PC. They might, in some cases, cost more than they would otherwise because uh, all this junk uh, gets oops gets on here because people pay to put it on there so uh, there's a, a financial incentive for these manufacturers to uh, load these computers up with junk because uh, software makers can basically have their software installed for a fee on every computer that that manufacturer sells but they do have a number of uh, PCs available from, you know, just again, just about every major manufacturer, including uh, Lenovo with some of these uh, all-in-one B50s. So there are some 
uh, options you can uh, look at when you're buying things uh, to go for the signature edition you'll know uh, those will be uh, clean of all this stuff and you can really start from scratch with a nice experience so good that Microsoft is doing that uh, bad that you know manufacturers are still doing what they're doing and putting this stuff on there I'm hoping this issue will bring to light uh, some of this this malware junkware stuff and uh, maybe give manufacturers some pause as to whether or not they should be putting this stuff on computers because really it's not good for consumers at all uh, especially when your security and privacy is getting violated and the user is being tricked into thinking that there's nothing wrong and that is a really uh, significant violation of trust and I'm hoping that uh, we won't see this again. I'm, I'm doubtful that statement is correct, of course. I'm sure we will see it again. Uh, but good to know that you can go out, uh, get a signature edition PC, and you're off and running. Or, of course, you can uh, take the harder step of downloading that installation media, downloading the drivers, and uh, you know, basically formatting the computer yourself and starting from scratch. So that's the current state of bloatware on Windows. Hopefully we won't see this again, but I'm not uh, too hopeful that will be the case. This is Lon Seidman. Thanks for watching.